Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a just an absolute ton of content. Last video I covered all the new team builder cards in depth. If you want to go check that out, make sure you check out that video. But we've got to cover all the new prime times that have X Factor implications because one of the best cards uh, for right handed wingers got an upgrade. We also got a ton of new stars of the month, the European cards that highlight some of the best players in the European region. We also got some superstar origin cards, or what I'm now calling charity cards including one for Carey Price, who's the best goalie in the game. All right, let's get into all of the new content. All right, we're going to start things out with the 92 Alex Ovechkin. Has he got another primetime? Dude is leading the league in points at 36 years old. Like, hello? Unbelievable. So he's got Applesauce and Spark, which gets his speed to 89. That still stays the same, but acceleration goes up to 91. And then his shot and everything else is basically perfect. I will say this. I still think that if you pull one of these Alex Ovechkin cards, if even if it's untradeable, save it until they require a set that has a high overall or use him. I really think that you guys, if you pack them tradable, try and sell them and try and get his X Factor because his X Factor is becoming out of control because it's just absolutely nuts. Once they gave him distributor, I know it's only two speed, but when you add everything else up because he's one of the biggest players, he's got great shot, great hand stats. Defensively, he's perfect. Like, this is the card you want to try and get. In fact, let's just take a look at what happens when he gets to 92 because he does get booming shot as well, which maxes out his slap shot power, maxes out his body checking agility, goes up to 93, or sorry, 92. Just a completely really good, well-rounded card. Like, there's not much else to say. You can do a lot of things. I have Gladiator on him, but you could even go and put Thief and max out his defensive ability. Just one of the best right-handed winger cards, and it's so funny. The beginning of the game, he felt awful, but the second he got Distributor, I don't know if it was just like a blanket thing. Like, when you get Distributor, just you feel faster. He feels faster than the 91 speed indicates. He also gets Shock and Awe. And while I still don't think the X Factor ability is worth it by doing the full zone, it is one of the most arcadey shots and things in the game. If you put this superstar ability on him with 99 wrist shot power, like it's going to be an absolute laser beam. Next up, we've got the 87 Alex Debrink with Protector Booming Shot and Light the Lamp 91 Speed, 91 Acceleration. Honestly, like this card has great speed and uh, for for an 87 overall, and if you can get him for the base price of what 87s are going for, I think it's still worth it, especially early on because it is difficult to find cards that have over 90 skating. But once you get out of like once you start getting some X factors and things like that, I don't really think this card is going to be worth it. And then if you take a look at his X factor card, like. I, he's going to need 99 skating, and he does get distributor, but he's going to need 99 skating before he's really useful. Like, he's going to need another synergy spot where they might throw in an acceleration boost, but I don't know. I mean, if he jumps up and gets, like, a 92 overall card, we might be we might be talking because he is only an 87 overall. But uh, he's only five foot seven, so he needs that skating to really make up for it because defensively, he is never going to be useful no matter what because he's only got 74 body checking, and that's at 87 overall, guys. So I just think that there are many other X factors to dump your coins into or, sorry, your collectibles into. I mean, you could also, if you're a Blackhawks fan, then obviously do it. But just, I don't see it here no matter what. Chris Kreider also got a prime time. And I've always liked Chris Kreider cards, but he does come with Magician and uh, and Wingman. If you get those activated early on in the game, like I said, I think he has some value because getting both of these is, is a nice addition to your team. But he's 6'3 with, you know, mid eighty shot hand stats in the high 80s. For anyone that's free to play looking for a left-handed winger, this could be an option for you. And if you're really good on the draws, you could actually put him at center. We also got new stars of the month, recognizing some of the best European players. Workhorse and Spark on Patrick Karlkvist with Magician and Buzzing, so he does get to 90 speed. If this card is going to cost what 90 overall cards are worth, not a fan. Like, he is 6'1", which is great. He's got 90 speed, which is okay, but his acceleration can only get up to 87. And again, if he's going to cost what 90s cost, I just think that there are going to be better options for you. Everything else is really good. This is a nice, nice 90 overall card. But again, I just think that there are better options. You could play him at center, though, which does change up some things because you don't need to rely on as much speed. But it still probably isn't one that I would go after. Then we've got the 90 overall Yuso Parsonin left winger, six foot three as well. Some huge players. 
buzzing in workhorse as well. 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 balance. This is a little bit different. And the one thing I will mention, guys, some of these stars, the month cards, because the European players start out so low in terms of their overalls, some of their attributes are jacked way up at the start of the year. And that's why you see cards like this that are 90 overall that have 99 slap shot power as well as like, you know, 99 agility, balance, and really high endurance. This is a nice card, especially if you have big rig on it. Six foot three. I mean, I know I just mentioned the 89 speed isn't great. It's if he's six foot three and has 90 agility, 99 agility. He's going to be able to make those cuts really nicely. This could be a really nice card, especially if you activate both these synergies. Then we've got the GOAT from NHL 21, Marcel Nobels, who was one of the better master items early on in the year last year. Buzzing and workhorse, I'm starting to see a theme. Six foot three, this is a true centerman. Like, you're not going to play him at the wing. 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 99 agility. Again, shot is all above 90. Hand stats are all above 90, except for puck control, which I actually don't really like. Body checking is 88, but he's got 95 strength, and then 90 stick checking, 91 defensive awareness, and 91 on the draw. It's a pure sentiment with tape to tape. It's a really weird, like, stat combo because the 99 agility is nice, but Deking's 85. Like, it's just, and puck control is 80, 86, even with the synergies activated. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think that he's got, he's a very good center. I just, I don't know. Then we've got the 90, Peter Saraznak, 6'3", with distributor and light the lamp. What is with these guys? What are they feeding them over there? My goodness. 90 speed, 88 acceleration on the back end. That is very different because 90 speed on the back end is very... Man, this might be a nice replacement for Adam Foot. I'm talking about the Team Builder video that we just had. Again, I think the Team Builder offers some uh, very difficult decisions, especially if you have Adam Foot and you have multiple of the Team Builders. Go ahead back and watch that. But man, 90 speed which is good. 80 acceleration is not good, but 92 shot power, 87 uh, accuracy on the back end, I'm saying. But six foot three, is passing and puck control are 94, 96. Body checking is 90. Defensive awareness, 91, 93. This is one of the better right-handed defensemen that you can get in the game right now. Like I think this is better than X-Factor Seth Jones currently and probably pushes John Carlson as well. This is a very, very good card. I have a feeling he's going to be very expensive. We'll see if there's any up on PlayStation. There's one 165. Man, this is a very, very good card. Interesting. Then we've got the 90 Melvin Nefeller, 510 goaltender. Good for Melvin for having a great month, but I uh, won't be able to be using him in Hut. And then we've got the 90 Josh Atkinson, left defenseman with applesauce and light the lamp and bombarded and magician. 88 speed, 88 acceleration, which is nice, but no skating stats to help him out. This is a very good left-handed defenseman card, but if he's only going to be six foot, like I think that if you're going to spend up for a 90 overall player, just going to cost a little too much. It's very good. I mean, his checking is 99, but his defensive awareness is only 88, which is just not worth it for the 90 overall price tag. So this would be a pass for me. And lastly, we got to take a look at some of the charity cards, the cards that they seem to be giving out to the X factors that are just not getting any upgrades, but they're also having some highlighting some other ones like this 87 Thomas Shabbat was shut down, which is nice buzzing and workhorse, which makes his, his stats usable at six foot two. Again, I think these are the cards you might be able to get for the bare minimum of what 87s are going for. And at six foot two, 88 speed, 89 acceleration, and this combo that can help activate other players' synergies, I think is worth it. I think it's a viable defenseman, especially with this size. So not bad at all. We'll take a look if there's any in the auction now, see what the price is. I'm um, kind of curious here, 65, like if he gets under 50, yeah, 48, that's not bad at all for any of you guys looking for a left-handed defenseman. And then they went out and gave my man the 89 carry price from the Tri-City Americans, I believe it's Tri-City, with distributor and protector. I don't know about this card specifically, but I know that his X-Factor is dynamite, and it's because of that post-to-post -post ability. So if you packed him tradable, I'd probably sell him. But if you want to give him a wood shot and you don't want to go out and get his X Factor, again, I don't know if they're going to play the same. I doubt they will because of that zone ability. We'll take a look at it in a bit. But the 89 carry price, he always plays better than what his stats indicate. 89, Patrick Kane, Protector, and Gladiator, as well as Booming Shot, 91 speed, 95 acceleration, can get up to 98 agility. This is a very good left hand or left handed winger card, guys. Like, I know he's only 89 overall. Body checking is low, but everything else that you need on him is very, very good. Like, even if you don't have his X Factor card, this card is very usable, especially with that acceleration. He's going to cost quite a bit, but I could see him go down under 100K. And if that happens, I think this is a good buy. All right. So, Carrie Price does get an upgrade, and really, it just adds. Uh, the handled it superstar ability provides a large energy boost for skaters on team after stopping a breakaway or penalty shot. 
not worth it even for the one point but he does get some other uh you know other synergies that he can help out with and raises his stats which you can't be sad about this is the best goaltender i've used so far and i would totally recommend him we've got the new patrick kane has distributor booming shot he gets as an unlock and he's got spinorama in terms of uh in terms of spin moves in the game i'm gonna make a video on this it seems to be extremely effective at creating time and space more than any other game uh, that we've had the spinorama available, and it's how you do it. But this is uh, almost one of the best left-handed wingers right now outside of, you know, Evo, Duchesne, and obviously Connor McDavid. But nonetheless, still have extremely good card when he gets up there. If you have him untradeable, he's only 89, so it's not going to break the bank if you're trying to, add, trying to move him up. His skating alone makes him worth it as well as his hand stats. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for all of the new content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.